all of those. And they are definitely for adults. But now, because we've entered the North Korean phase of the revolution, well, Dahl's works are being defaced by the ghouls in charge of publishing. Dr. Stress Gallagher has that story for us tonight. Hey, Doctor, they're not editing Roald Dahl's books because they've been deemed defensive, mind you. They're cutting words out because they're potentially defensive. Of course, the whole point of the books was to... Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. ...risk of eating too much chocolate and watching too much TV. But now it appears the worlds of James the Giant Peach and Charlie the Chocolate Factory have been airbrushed. For example, the words white with fear and black cloaks. Cloaks are no longer acceptable. Oompa Loompas are no longer small men, they're small people. And Augustus Gloop is no longer enormously fat, he's just enormous. Although if you watch the movie version, Augustus looks pretty enormously fat. Watch. Look at Augustus. Don't worry, he can't drink at all. Augustus, sweetheart, thanks for a room for later. Oh, uh, Augustus, please, don't do that. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Please, don't do that. Don't do that. You're contaminating our entire river. Please, I beg you, Augustus. Thank you British for Prime watching. Minister Rishi Sunak is among those who believe that we should not, quote, gobble funk with words. Author Salman Rushdie agrees things have gone too far, and Rushdie would know. He was targeted for the ultimate censorship when Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini said his book, The Satanic Verses, was blasphemous and condemned him to death by issuing a fatwa. Although in this world, maybe fatwa is offensive and should be referred to as... They're stupid. talking about words removed from the classic <laughs> books. That's stupid. There's a reason... God bless. Please uh, subscribe. Thank you so much.